Cool. A red telephone. I wonder if I can call the president with it. Seriously, who would I call? We have to gain access to the data center to stop the machine. The machine's core. I've never seen anything like it. The hermetically sealed fusion chamber. We have to gain access to the data center to stop the machine from there. Tied up and tranquilized. Couldn't ask for much more. No, I'll leave her where she is. The assistant's desk drawer. Mind if I rifle through your desk? If it'll help prevent the end of the world, then be my guest. Hmm, nothing obviously useful, but there is a remote control flying saucer. For want of anything better to take, can I take this? UFO thing? Uh, sure, if you can use it. It's just, it's just a little hobby of mine when I'm not inadvertently bringing about the apocalypse. There's a thick, partially burnt cigar in the ashtray. It's no longer lit. There's a burnt cigar in it. Looks like Van Ryn was in a hurry. Looks tidy. Notes, plastic cups, used tissues, and all kinds of other office garbage. A few used poster strips and a pencil stump. The rest is just trash. At least we have someone who knows what they're doing on our side. We've discussed everything already. I'm supposed to accompany him to the data center so he can reprogram the machine and stop the experiment. Damn, the security system's been activated. Of course. There's a laser barrier. If we trigger it, the corridor hermetically seals and then kills us with toxic gas. I don't see any lasers. No, we're in a clean room. The air is dust free, so the lasers are practically invisible. So what do we do? We can turn off the security system via the console, but we'll need the right keycard. Which you don't have. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Well, fine. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it some brain power. Max went upstairs to kill the power supply in the Transformer building. Two lab coats. Laser beams don't fall for disguises, but let's see what's in the pockets. A key with a lighter attached, a makeup mirror, and some lipstick. With the right keycard, you can deactivate the laser grid here. I need the right keycard to shut down the sensors. An empty table. That, if I'm not mistaken, is a key card next to those papers on the shelf over there. Maybe it's the one for deactivating the motion sensors. But how can I reach it from here? I can't reach it without setting the alarm off. You need an access card to open the door. Of course. Maybe I can lure Van Rijn with a cigar and then... No, no, that's a stupid idea. <clears throat> Lung cancer tastes smooth. Shouldn't take long. There. Now we've got atmosphere. I could use it to deflect the laser beam, but how am I going to keep it in place? I'll stick some poster strips on the back of the two mirrors. Okay, steady hands. I'll break the pocket mirror in two, then fix one side to the wall and use the other one to deflect the laser beam. Perfect. It worked. 
It would fit, and I could pilot it down there without being noticed. But how would I get the keycard back? I'll stick a couple of the poster strips on the bottom of the UFO model. It fits, but I'm not sure I'm a qualified pilot. Could you give me a hand? With what? I've made a gap in the laser grid. Excellent. We can fly your saucer to the other side and use it to get the key card. Huh, sounds fun. Uh, give me the remote and uh, pop Betty down on the other side. Betty? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> don't ask. Fine, I'll move Betty into position. You did it! <laughs> I did, <laughs> didn't I? Damn, what now? Ms. Kalenkov, where are you headed? Nowhere fast, it seems. Ah, Gruber. I regret to inform you that I cannot allow you to continue. Damn it, I need to get out of here. The elevator's control panel. I need to get to the surface. Pointless. The elevator's jammed. The key card for the elevator. The elevator's control panel. There's a hatch screwed into the ceiling. I won't be able to unscrew them with my bare hands. Maybe I can use that to unscrew the panel. Did it. The elevator travels along a threaded track on the wall. If I put my fingers in there, my days of ordering ten beers at once are over. A metal pin. leads to the surface. Damn. Leads to the surface. That was close. I hope Nina's faring better. Open. Ah, hello, Mr. Anderson. This one's empty. A terminal, keyboard. Van Ryn initiated the reanimation process from this terminal. My medical skills aren't. Locked. The key fits. What have we got? Dressing material, disinfectant, a laser pointer, and a defibrillator. Mother load. It's empty. Out of action. Damn. They're guarding the data center. Now what? You, uh, you don't have hand-to-hand -hand combat training? I have a lot of experience with combining everyday objects into improbably useful tools, but no, I am not a secret agent. I'll think of something. Heavily armed. It isn't that easy. The entrance to the data center. We have to get inside, whatever the cost. Not as long as those guards are there. This laser pointer may give off some heat, but it's not actually a weapon. I doubt it'd even blind them. He'd perforate me before I could get within range.
a fire safety system. When the inbuilt sensor detects high temperatures, it activates the sprinkler. The pipes for the sprinkler system. I can't reach it too far. I'll aim at the sprinkler system heat sensor. Damn it, what now? It's just a screw up in the system. I'll go sort it out. You stay here. Great, one down. I can't reach it. The sprinklers formed a puddle here. I'll wash my hands of all of this later. Best be careful not to get my feet wet. Is he dead? No, just recharging his batteries. Let's go. The entrance to the data center. Lock the door. I'll log into the system and wait until the firewall is deactivated. I hope your friend is successful. You bet. Open the door. Shit. Now what? Don't worry. It'd take dynamite or some kind of industrial metal cutter to get through that door. Oh, yes, so I see. Oh, no! You've got to stop him! And how am I supposed to do that? Never mind. You do the hacker routine, I'll handle the lateral thinking. Uh, we prefer cyberspace explorers. But okay, I'll focus on reprogramming. Fine. I'll rig a surprise for our friend. fire cabinet with a glass door, I can see a fire axe and a hose inside. Since when are fire cabinets locked? Just what you need in case of emergency. I'll take the axe. That is precisely the opposite of what I'm trying to achieve. That is pre- I'm guessing it contains liquid nitrogen for cooling the servers. Cold to the touch. One well-placed blow. Could work, but now your friend really needs to hurry up. I have to get in there to interrupt the power supply. I wonder if this electronic lock can be opened from the control center. Don't ask, don't get. Nina, this is Max. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. You all right? We could use that blackout right about now. I'm outside the generator building. The door has an electronic lock. I don't know how to open it. Can you do something from the control center? I'll ask the expert. Wait a second. Max, we can do it, but we need the identifier for the door. All right. I'll see if I can find it. Hurry up! Obviously. I have to get in there. A 
I'm not climbing back before... The cover's screwed to the chassis. The cover's made of metal. Amazing. Does anyone actually use these to unlock doors? Ah, uh, here's the door lock identifier. I'm completely clueless when it comes to this stuff. And better not. A walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie. Ah, uh, here's the... The identifier is XJ-3486. I'll pass it on. Bear with us. Take your time. So, it looks as if he did it. Of course, deactivating the stabilization field is the difficult bit. You'll manage. What the hell is going on? We need to get out of here! You'll have to leave without me. I've got to finish this. Now untie me.